Hello friends, welcome back. Okay, but let's say how this um, uh, application password have been used or how this application or uh, when we use this username and application password, then how the word WordPress set the current user, right? Because REST API then will check for the capabilities as well. And REST API uses the current user and functions for checking the better the current logged in user uh, have that access or not. And uh, since it's based on the, it's not uh, the in, in the REST API, the user is not all logged in into onto the site. It's like we are sending the authentication information. Okay. Um, so if you go to the Again, on the same file, wpuser.php file, uh, under uh, not a wp user, only users.php file, under into the users, um, and into the in, um, in the wp includes folder. Okay. So go to the users.php file. And here we will try to find where this application password authentication happened. Okay. So uh, let me just open the outline. Here we will quickly find the authentication okay so this is the function wp authenticate password so this function uh, will ex authenticate the user authenticates the user using the application password okay so and say the application password have been introduced in 5.6 version so here uh, input user username and password has been passed and then it will use and it also checking whether it's a xml rpc request or the race request request if it's api request then only um, authentication pass or application password will be authenticated and again they have provided a filter so probably in some use cases we can we can use this filter and if it's not uh, or if, if it's not api request then it will simply return the input user whether an input user is uh, whether the wp user object or wp error object or the null okay so if here we we are not uh, the application password won't be authenticated and then it will check for the if it's there then it will authenticate the application user and return the actual user okay uh return the wp what will it will yeah um okay it will return the wp user okay and so let's let's do a reverse reverse checking uh, from where this uh, function has been called so if you go here um, this is the action okay so here this function has been executed uh, and for the authentication purpose okay and it's checking whether it's an object of wp user then it will simply return the uh, it okay um, so wp validate application password function have been used so let's check from where this function so here in this same file i couldn't find so i will simply call this here and this is our functions definition and here in the default filters we have this determine use current user so on this filter this function has been um, uh, hooked okay so let's see where this determine current user filter has been executed okay so go here and uh, here you can see all this add filter and here we have the apply filter so probably the, yeah from this the, this filter has been introduced okay and if the user id is not uh, uh if it's not uh, if it's not empty then it will simply set a current user so wp set current user will simply uh, uh update the current user global variable and you this variable uh, will use to get and set the uh, to get a current user as well okay so if we go to here back go back here and where this function has been executed this one underscore wp get underscore current user okay and its access is private means it's not a private matter or something but access private means that uh, whatever the wordpress functions are there and start with the underscore that means those functions are not meant to use outside the wordpress code so this function uh, we, as a developer we should not use in our themes or plugins okay so that's that's why it's uh, like a private uh, just for indication that uh, these functions are not allowed to use outside the wordpress code base okay and uh, this function probably will be called from other like whenever the request is come to the wordpress then this function will be called at some hooks or point um, so i'm just not going through further but this is the way like how this application password get the information checking whether it's a 
XML RPC request or the REST API request. And if it's a uh, API request, then it will authenticate and and set the current user. And then REST API will check based on that whether the current user do have uh, capability or not to edit the movie or delete the movie or anything. Okay. So if we go back here, like using the movie manager, if we try to update that, uh, for example, let me go to the new request again so it will be simple like create a post uh, create a post like we are creating we are trying to create a new post so simply with the body um, go to the json here create and uh, here i will simply pass title for now only like uh, paste post or something okay uh, we have to use double quotes okay. and in the authentication we will keep basic authentication in the movie manager and then password so let me just copy the password from here uh, copy the password go to the create post and add it here okay and if we try to create a move post so let me also copy this one go to the create post and here we will use the uh, post uh, route for the default post okay and when we send it says sorry you are not allowed to create a post as this user because movie manager role we haven't pro given the uh, default accessible capabilities of the po uh, post post type to the movie manager okay so uh, if we like based like my like i want to just convey that that uh, based on the uh based on based on the different use cases or the based on the different types of ro user rules we can create uh, application password and then that user can only use the application password to update the content which they do have access on the site right so movie manager uh you uh, a user with the movie manager role only will update delete or perform the crowd operation for the a movie post or the people post, a person post okay but not for the default post because they that movie manager role don't do not have that access okay so this way we can also have so uh, it's not like that we have created application password for that user and that user will have we can can update anything any other content but they can only perform the crud operation for the content which they do have access so right so this is the another part I want to showcase. Uh, so here, yeah. So uh, on the movie manager can only if you use like for example author. Let's say I'm I have created application password for the author Chandra author user. Then that author uh, that uh, user can use that application password to create only the post or publish the post. But they cannot update delete the the post which are the uh, from for the post which they are, the Chandra author is not actual author, right? They cannot edit other users' post. So uh, based on this, uh, like uh, if we want to create, if we want to pro perform the REST API request to update all the content, then probably you can create application password for the editor role, right? So that editor role have access to other posts and uh, posts also other content types as well. So this way we can we can create. Uh, uh, application password for based on the different user roles and their capabilities and then use it for for updating the uh, content through the another platform or through the other applications right so yeah so this way um you can you can perform the authentications okay so now you can try it uh, for other other rest routes as well okay and uh, yeah um, that's all about authentication and similarly you can also perform the authentication since for the rest uh, uh, this application password is not just for it will also work for the uh, custom rest routes as well okay so uh, for example we have created uh, the uh, the custom rest route right so if currently it's only get permit uh, it's a get method so we have passed permission callback function to true okay but uh, if just in case if the similar a route has been created and with the endpoint like uh, um, like the editable or the deletable endpoint 
okay the methods then in that case in the permission callback uh, you can simply check whether because if you are using the application password that means the application password functionality already set the user if the user has been auth authenticated okay if it's not then the, in the permission callback you can simply check whether the current user can perform the edit the post or anything so uh, for the better example go to the post controller here uh, for example for creating the po uh, creating the post or movie post uh, you can see that permission callback create items permission check the similar uh, function you can create and then you can check whether the current user get current user id and uh, check you can whether the current user can perform or have capabilities or have access to do edit the post publish the post any other things right so this way because uh, application password will only set uh, validate the username and application password and authenticate the user if it's uh, authentication successful then they will set the uh, global user variable okay and this function and in our permission callback function we will simply use whether the current user has been set and if it if it has access or not right so so similarly like uh, movie using the movie manager role we have tried to update the update the uh, uh, default post right but uh, the movie manager do not have capability so it will simply return false and then it won't be allowed through the rest api request right so yeah there are similarly in in similar way the permissions will be work but still we have to uh, we have to just um, get check whether the user is uh, logged in and uh, and user do have access or not and about the authentication purpose it will done through the application password or whatever the other authentication methods you are using okay or you can also use the race authentication errors action which you have seen i think in the part three video okay which will which you can use to just uh, check internal check or if you want to implement some your custom authentication method right or you can use the third party authentication method as well okay define a given into the uh, in this documentation okay so yeah um, but now maybe you can check how the block editor uses the authentication it, it's used called cookie authentication including the nonce okay and and then you can you can you can check yourself too okay yeah uh, that's all about the uh, authentication in the rest api so after watching this video you can try it in your local system and try to explore more okay yeah, thank you guys um see you on the next one bye bye jai wordpress